This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 31st. Yes, it's Halloween. And a dreary one at that is it's going to turn wet. But before we look at the wet forecast, let's take a moment and calmly look at this gorgeous sunset taken over Weiss Lake and uh, was tweeted out yesterday. And uh, we certainly appreciate these lovely tweets. And another reminder, don't forget, Fall back tonight. This is the end of daylight saving time. And uh, we start back on regular central time at 2 a.m. So everybody get up at 2 a.m. and set your clocks back and then go back to bed. And if any of you are astronomy interests, uh, we have a comet that is going to be flying by sometime this afternoon. Uh, it's going to be um, pretty close, or relatively close anyway, and NASA has been able to send some radar waves out there essentially and get a picture, and it thought it's rather appropriate. It looks like a skull, so nice interesting shot there. And then also I uh, wanted to show that uh, the uh, NASA has got a beautiful shot of the overall globe. This was uh, actually on the 29th, so it's a little bit old. All right. Not only that, I want to mention that clouds moved in late yesterday afternoon and into the evening hours. And what that did was to basically stop the fall of temperatures and uh, temperatures have held pretty steady. As a matter of fact, Vic Bell mentioned that his low this morning uh, was 42, but it came at midnight and his temperature had actually risen to 50 degrees. All right. Let's get to the weather forecast, as dreary and wet as it is. There's a look at the surface map, and we have uh, a bit of a surface low uh, over the southeast Texas coast. And uh, that surface low will be gradually moving up into the southern Appalachians over the next couple of days, producing a good deal of wet weather across the southeastern U.S. and central Alabama. In the upper atmosphere... We're dealing with a trough that is back over West Texas, extending uh, south uh, and southwestward into Mexico. And ahead of that, we have a very good plume of tropical moisture feeding in that southwesterly flow up into the southeastern U.S., the lower Mississippi River Valley. And the result is we're going to have lots of moisture and the rain will be moving in. Temperatures across the United States, not too bad. A little chilly up there in New England, which are the only freezing temperatures I can actually find this morning. Uh, it is a little chilly in the uh, Rockies, but um, most of those readings are above freezing. I noticed that uh, there is one also in Arizona, so still a few chilly spots. No chilly spots across central Alabama. Yeah, with temperatures this morning generally in the 50s. Notice Tuscaloosa uh, at the time of this uh, came in with a 61 degree uh, reading. Radar this morning indicating that we did have a little bit of light rain across central Alabama or parts of Alabama, but most of that rain not reaching the ground. The Birmingham uh, sounding at the Shelby County Airport last night indicated the atmosphere is fairly dry. Flash flood watches, those areas in green across the lower Mississippi River Valley and extending back into central Texas. Those flash flood watches are through Sunday for most locations. And of course, the big news is the rain that we expect. This is the uh, rain over the next five days through 12Z on Thursday morning. That will be 6 a.m. And indicating on the order of um, uh, maximum band on the order of four to six inches extending from southeast Louisiana up into extreme northwestern South Carolina. Now let's break this down. This is day one. This is through 12Z Sunday and we do expect to see much of the uh, heaviest rain in southeast Louisiana but some of that uh, heavy rain extending into southwest Alabama. The day two rain indicates a band of heavy rain from uh, just north of Mobile into northwestern uh, South Carolina on the order of two to three inches and then for Day three or Monday, it looks like uh, we should see the rain ending across central Alabama. And uh, excessive rainfall is expected to be uh, moderate across parts of southeastern Louisiana, southeast Texas, and parts of southwestern Louisiana for today. For day two, uh, it looks like uh, this is Sunday primarily and into early Monday. Looks like there's a slight risk of uh, some excessive rainfall across central Alabama. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk for severe weather today across basically the southern half of Louisiana and extreme southeastern Texas. For day two, we don't see any sp uh, specific slight risk areas, but there is a marginal risk that covers much of south, central, southeast, and southwest Alabama. And the tropics, nice report here. They're quiet in the Atlantic and they're quiet in the Pacific.
All right, let's get to uh, the GFS model run this morning. And there's a look at our surface map. And we do have a, a, a surface low over southeast Texas. And uh, with all that tropical moisture coming our way, rain should be spreading into Alabama this afternoon. And that rain should spread over the area this evening. In the upper atmosphere, uh, we have this trough that extends all the way from uh, south central Canada. Uh, down across the central plains and then curving back to the south-southwest across west Texas and into Mexico. That will uh, slowly but surely move out on uh, Sunday as it closes off. This uh, lower part kind of becomes detached from the upper flow. Uh, and that will bring that surface low over into Louisiana. So everything moving really slowly, which is allowing for this heavy rain to occur. On Monday, that little trough uh, or the closed low becomes a trough and that moves by. That should bring an end to the rain. May not bring an end completely to the cloudiness, but we are cautiously optimistic for some clearing by late in the afternoon. And you can see on the, the surface map that the rain is ending, much of that rain shifting uh, to the southern Appalachians from Georgia up into the Carolinas and Virginia. The weather comes down for us on Tuesday, and we see a ridge over the eastern half of the country. The ridge stays with us on Wednesday, giving us some pretty good weather. And Thursday, the ridge is still the predominant feature. Uh, and we see the ridge on Friday as everything is held at bay because of the strong ridge over the area. But that's not meaning that there's not any weather going on. There's a good deal of weather with a deep low coming across the Great Lakes with a cold front stretching down into the lower Mississippi River Valley, but staying away from Alabama. However, it looks like Saturday we could possibly see some rain as you see the trough coming into the western Great Lakes and hanging back across the uh, uh, New Mexico and West Texas, and indeed that should be, bring the front down into our area. So it looks like we could see some rain on Saturday, but the rain looks like it moves out fairly quickly on Sunday. We're getting into voodoo, though, and looking out into voodoo, we have another weather system in the form of a fairly substantial trough around Wednesday, the 11th of November. And then on the 14th, we see a negatively tilted trough uh, with a closed low over the Great Lakes. That could spell a severe weather uh, situation for parts of the United States for the 13th and into the 14th. We'll have to be watching that, but you know how it is. It's voodoo country. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, come check back with the blog periodically for updates on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Halloween and Godspeed.